The Coalition Government has just released its comprehensive spending review and I'm joined by Stephen Pound, Labour MP for Ealing North and he's going to be discussing some of the things that were in the review. Now one of the losers seemed to be council spending. Now, how is your constituency going to deal with the amount of cuts, 33.3% of cuts I believe, that are going to be cut to council spending. How is your constituency going to deal with that? With intense difficulty, Nisha. I mean, these are also front-loaded cuts. Although they're cuts over four years, they, they hit us now. Um, and the point is, most of the stuff that councils do is not necessarily glamorous. This comprehensive spending review impacts, worst of all, on low-income earners, women, and particularly women with children, and stay-at-home mums. No, they but, they, no, but that's what the care, IFS okay, said. That's yeah. what the IFS said. But yeah. then, obviously, you know, uh, Nick Clegg came out and said they're complete. Mm. what they've said is completely rubbish, mm. and single parents are getting a lot of benefits now. Now, I mean, you know, I've, I've actually, you know, done box pops with single mothers and mm. many of them said that we are receiving actually enough mm. child benefit. And some mothers and they mm. said, well, in London, it may be the, the cap on that 43000 mm. as a couple should be higher. Mm. And then different areas where it's less mm. expensive than in London should be, you know, lower. Business doesn't run this country. We're not, as it has happened in the past in some countries. We've had small business people running. But everyone has to make cuts. I mean, obviously, we mm. don't have money left. Mm. We don't have money left, and the government's pretty much bankrupt. So we haven't got money. So you well, know, the government's nowhere near bankrupt. Yeah, but that's what, that's what people believe. Well, then why, yeah. why, why, why yeah. was that letter written by yeah. the Treasury Secretary they, they from Labour saying there's no money left? Well, no, that, that wasn't. That wasn't. That was the letter that was written it, on the it, table. There's no it, money that left. That wasn't a letter written by Labour. That was a, written, a letter written by Liam Byrne as a but joke sure, for the outcome. Oh, that was a joke. Well, hang on a second. When Reggie Moore, then Terry Leahy, who runs Tesco's, shouldn't be allowed to earn that either. But that's the private sector. Yeah. Different. Yes, but I, I'm not, I don't think it is yeah. entirely, t- think entirely it is. different. Yeah, no, certainly not with Terry Leahy. So. I backed Ed Miliband. There were five candidates mm-hmm. at a particular time, and I could say that he was better than the other four, but I don't think that's the point. I think Ed Miliband represents the best possible hope we have of this country to actually bring the best of the Labour tradition, the best of communitarianism, the best of believing that what we do together is better than what we do as individuals, in a modern, sharp, bright, focused context. But it seems a little bit, you know... Mm. Not, I wouldn't say mysterious, but it, it's funny how, you know, most of the unions voted for him. He, he was just picked to the post by David by the union vote. So it does seem to me that this red Ed title that he's been given, you know, is, is substantiated, especially with, you know, we, we're in, right now as a society, as, as Londoners, if we, if we want to put it down to that constituency, yeah. you know, we're, we're going through fire strikes, that which might happen on bonfire night. Mm. We've got, you know, the, there's been tube strikes, there's, mm-hmm. there's just been loads of strikes, BA cabin crew strikes, obviously mm. it's a different mm-hmm. sector, but, you know, we've had a lot of strikes. So to have an, a leader that, you know, essentially was voted uh-huh. by unions, it, you know, would you really think well, you're going to get that vote from the public? Some mm. people that really have effect, been affected mm. by tube strikes by the fire strikes which will mm. you know just one just happened on Saturday you, do they really do you really think your leader can can represent the people or does indeed he just I represent do no, unions? You're, you're, you're making a number of assumptions the first is but thank you very much Stephen. thank you Nisha. Lovely to talk that to was you. hard work was it hard work okay I'm sorry about that's that. right no no you, you, it's, it's, it's good journalism excellent we'll be back later thank you